Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to week three of the September 2022 Cloud Resume Challenge Sprint. The goal for this week is to use JavaScript to integrate the front end of your resume page, which is hosted in S3 and fronted by a CloudFront distribution with the backend API, which is a Lambda function written in Python and exposed via an API gateway endpoint. This will ultimately display the visitor counter on your resume web page. You're also required to write unit tests for your Lambda function using Python. Additionally this week, I also decided to redesign my front end. I had originally used a template which wasn't responsive because I really didn't want to spend much time on the design. However, after looking at some of the other Sprinter sites, I figured I should probably put a bit more effort in. So I went from this to this. Now, for the front and back end integration, if you watch my video from week two, you may recall that I showed a demo of testing the Lambda function from the console, as well as from the API gateway endpoint using Postman. With the Lambda function in place and exposed via the API gateway endpoint, all I had to do this week was add a little JavaScript to the front end and make an HTTP post to the endpoint. Then I update the HTML element with the ID attribute of visits, which is this span, with the result that's returned from the API call. And with that, the visitor counter is displayed on the page. If you're not comfortable with JavaScript, I have a JavaScript tutorials playlist on my channel with videos which will show you how to make an Ajax call. For testing the Lambda function, I decided to jump a bit ahead to the week four requirements and implemented GitHub Actions to kick off the tests when the code is pushed to the repo. I'll dive deeper into the GitHub Actions implementation in next week's video and focus on the test script and show the execution here. In a test handler script function, I'm grabbing the AWS access key and secret access key that I added to my repo's environment variables. And here I'm invoking the lambda handler function in the app pi file, which will return the visit count in the response body. Then back in the test script, I check for a 200 response status code, then check to see if visit count was returned in the body and if the visit count was numeric. Now I can push the code to the repo, which will kick off the GitHub Actions and execute the test. For me, the most challenging part of the week was implementing the Python tests and kicking them off using GitHub Actions. But there's an excellent resource on Python testing provided in the Cloud Resume Challenge Guidebook. And as all developers do, I referenced plenty of other resources out on the web. Next week, we'll continue to build our infrastructure's code take a deeper dive into GitHub Actions, and round out the challenge with a CICD implementation, which will build the infrastructure after pushing the code to the repo and passing the automated tests. I hope you found this video interesting, and I hope to see you next week.